Welcome back to my channel. In this session we will see how we can detect a short circuit in any power supply, any electronic circuit, electrical circuit. I have this power supply. When we connect it to power supply, external power when we feed it, I made a self made connector to test it, to apply power to this power connector. And we will see when it is connected in the device, in the system, the fuse trips off. If I will turn on and I will set maximum current, it will take maximum current. If you have high current power supply like uh, 10 ampere, 20 ampere, just apply power and wait until 1 minute, 2 minutes and check if there is any component heating up. You can identify it very easily you can detect it I opened this power supply so that to save the time now we will wait and we will power on and take care uh, might be some component can blast most of the time the capacitors diode transistors are short circuit when we connect high current power supply to remove the short circuit to detect the faulty component without testing anything be careful might be some capacitor can blast take any shield or any cover in front of you if there is a blast some debris cannot fly to you and this cannot damage to you power on wait until mm, few minutes one minute two minutes and check if there is any component heating up power, power supply is now off Yes, this diode is heating up. We can also monitor the temperature. If you have a temperature gun, you can verify. But now I will check the temperature. And I will connect this thermocouple probe here. I will place this probe here. And now I will power on. This time the temperature is 38 degree because we powered on uh, for a while now I will turn on again it is drawing the current and now we will see the temperature is increasing very rapidly we can see there is a smoke now what I will do because it is short circuit I will cut it from the circuit. Now we can see the short circuit gone. In this way we can eliminate the short circuit using high current power supply. This is for the test purpose for the troubleshooting. It is also a technique. If there is a capacitor short circuit, if there is something wrong, it will blast. If there is polar capacitor damaged, be careful using this method might be it will blast for that purpose you can place a shield and observe the power supply if capacitor is bad when it will open the power supply will become normal condition automatically when it will uh, disconnect internally because when it is connected in any system there may be 5 ampere 6 ampere fuses are used circuit breaker are used so circuit breaker will trip off but now we are feeding more current. If we have 20 ampere power supply, that is much better. Just apply it, power it on, but uh, take care for the wiring. In this way, we can eliminate the shot using high current method. I hope so you enjoyed the video. If it is good, hit the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching.